Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been driving around the last two hours to find a suitable location for today's video. And obviously I checked here first as it's my favorite shooting location, but it was all foggy and you couldn't see uh, a meter. So I continued driving. Then I've driven around for over one and a half hours, but unfortunately I couldn't find a nice shooting location. Either it was inaccessible or it was still foggy. So I ended up here again. Anyway, in the last video, I told you a little story about my two Fiat 126P that I had for a short amount of time. As the weather has been pretty bad for the last few weeks, I didn't have a lot of opportunity to record footage with either of my two cars. So I've decided to tell you this, this short little story. I have recorded this story in Polish in one of my earliest videos and I haven't been watching it well I haven't watched it in two years or almost two years since I've recorded it and the wording still was basically the same in English and German and this is obviously the story is the same so nothing has changed but the wording still uh, was pretty much the same and however this is not the topic of today's video today's topic is uh, what's to come with the orange car i've mentioned in an earlier video that i had basically two projects coming up the the original engine to have it back into the car and the interior so obviously i had the original engine put back into the car so the interior is still to be basically uh, still to be refurbished so i have taken some time out of my busy schedule uh, to inquire with a few local companies that specialize in refurbishing car interiors and i did receive some answers unfortunately the prices are very expensive even if i would have the interior refurbished in the fabric that it currently is so the estimates there reach from two to three thousand euros uh, which is very expensive for just having it refurbished in fabric so i didn't even inquire for going with leather or in stitching and maybe other things that I still haven't uh, thought about. So I have decided to draft a, a letter, a sponsoring letter once again, which I did five years ago before the complete last restoration of that car. So my first choice is obviously the same company that I've written to five years ago. And although the, the answer back then wasn't the one I had hoped for, as mentioned in my first YouTube video, I still don't believe that it was a waste of time and effort. First of all, it was an experience that I have never made before. And I've got my foot into their door. Obviously, things have changed in the meantime for myself as well. The car has been restored. It had, it had now its technical inspection, which it passed. It looks spectacular. I have created a small YouTube channel, which I am very proud of. Maybe those are arguments that will persuade them to, to support me this time around. But this will take a, a few weeks. Last time it took two to three weeks for the answer. So maybe this time will, well, hopefully it won't take longer this time. And so there's hoping for the best and well let's see how this turns out and now i would like to show you the interior of the car how it currently looks and what i'm hoping to achieve so follow me So clearly you can see that the passenger seat is missing at the moment. I removed it yesterday to have a better look for the camera, which I will put right here. So 
imagine the seat would be here then the camera would film the seat and not me driving the car so i have removed it temporarily and here you can see that the covers of the taillights are still in the car i had to switch them for the red ones let me show you them in comparison again so i had to switch to those one because with the clear ones the car wouldn't have passed the technical inspection so i'll be mounting them back later on i'm already prepared for that so i'm unsure if i have ever shown you the interior of the car in a video so with this new camera i hope you can clearly see it so switch a little to the back obviously the interior as it is right now in the car hasn't been issued with the original car this has been uh, custom made at a later time still it looks fantastic especially in the back because it's used very very uh, rarely and therefore it isn't worn out clearly the box for the speakers in the back is custom made as well so i will have to show you the driver's seat as well which i am not very proud of as it is very very worn out as you can see it's ripped apart uh, here on the side of the seat the glue that hold, held those two parts together doesn't do that anymore so clearly i have to redo the interior as quickly as possible that is basically it i uh, what i want to achieve with the interior in the ideal case uh, having leather with orange stitching but uh, depending on the costs currently it is not possible and depending on how the sponsorship uh, turns out i will decide upon that but even if i don't manage to have it done in leather with orange stitching or whatsoever uh, i will go for the same fabric that it is that it currently is because it still looks nice especially when it's uh, all together and not ripped apart so this is a waiting just waiting and seeing for the time being i will definitely keep you updated and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye Hey guys, just a short extra clip for the end of this video. I'm going to start up the car and then take a little walk around of it. Enjoy it. Ah, it fired up nicely. So let's take a look around the car. So it does run, run very smoothly, but that's to be expected after having the original engine put back into the car. So it's, it's pretty quiet right now. It's warmed up obviously from driving around. So in the morning when you start it up, you, you would probably have to switch on the choke, especially in the winter or in the, in the fall, but right now it's warmed up, the sun is shining, so it hasn't cooled down. So it runs very, very smoothly. It's very filthy, obviously, because I've been driving it around pretty much today. And that's the part of the car. So that's definitely it for this video. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.